Hello children, uh, welcome to worship. Uh, I'm Cathy for those of you that can't remember um, and it's great to be here. We're going to start by lighting our candle. And we're going to say our greeting. Hopefully you remember the response. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. So I'm going to follow on a little bit from what Reverend Phil said last week. He started telling us a little bit about hope. And I want to talk about hope again this week. But this week we want to talk about Jesus being our hope. And I've got a story for us from the Bible. This is from the Beginner's Bible. And we're going to read this story, which is called Two Miracles. One day... A man named Jairus came to see Jesus. He cried, Jesus, please come and heal my daughter. She's dying. If you would just touch my daughter, Jairus said, she will be healed. So Jesus and his disciples went with Jairus. He looks really sad, doesn't he, in that picture? A large crowd followed Jesus as he walked to Jairus's house. Just then, a woman pushed through the crowd toward Jesus. She had been sick for 12 years. Wow, that's a really long time. The doctors couldn't heal her. The woman believed that Jesus could heal her. She thought, I know that if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. As the woman got closer to Jesus, she reached out and touched him. She was healed that moment. Jesus stopped and turned around. Who touched me? Jesus asked. I felt power go out of me. The woman knelt before Jesus and said, I am the one that touched you. Jesus said, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Finally, Jesus arrived at Jairus's house. The people said it was too late. His daughter had already died. Jesus said, Jairus, trust me. Your daughter is not dead. She's just sleeping. Jesus told everyone to leave the house. Then Jairus and his wife went with Jesus into the girl's bedroom. Jesus knelt down beside her and said, Wake up, my child. Right away, she opened her eyes and climbed out of bed. Jairus and his wife were overcome with joy. What a great story. In that, we saw two people who got healed by Jesus in some kind of miraculous way. There was the woman who'd been sick for 12 years who came and touched his clothes and there was the little girl who was so sick that she died and Jesus brought her back to life. See Jesus brought hope to both of them to the lady who was really sick and to the little girl and her whole family. Sometimes it can feel like we're a bit hopeless, that we've run out of all hope and we've got nowhere to turn. There have been lots of times throughout history when that's been the case. As I record this, we're getting ready for our VE Day celebrations tomorrow. 
and I'm sure for a lot of people leading up to that point, it felt hopeless, that there was no hope. When was that war going to end? And yet finally, the day came where peace was announced. For millions of people around the world, Jesus is the one who brings peace, who brings us peace in, in lots of different ways. There's a verse from the Bible that says, May the God, the source of hope, fill you with all joy and peace by means of your faith in him, so that your hope will continue to grow by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's from Romans chapter 15. It says that we can always have hope, even if our situation feels really hopeless. Jesus is the one that can bring us hope and he can make our hope grow and grow and grow until we are hope filled. So may you be filled with hope and joy and peace in God's presence. I'm going to say a prayer for us. You can join in and say Amen if you like. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are our hope. Thank you for the story of the woman and the little girl and the way in which they trusted you and you brought them hope. Would you help us to trust you so that our hope is in you? Amen. Amen. Now we're going to finish by saying our school prayer, which today is read for us by Leah. And we'll see you next week. God bless the school, from the roof to the floor. God bless the windows and the door. God bless us all evermore. Amen.